is like a bowl of cherries. Let's get this class into some sort of order. A son, your tall boy, why don't you swap seats with that little girl? Told you. I think she can speak for herself. All right. I'll tell you. I was saying, Everdeen, what you got to write about? Been in the sixth grade, your whole good for nothing life. Ain't got no daddy. Never goes anywhere but where your feet's taken. Only this money ever belongs to you in the whole world. Was $20 you got yourself in a birthday card from your uncle last year? Did it really work for my birthday? Really? It was for laying on his lap or let him spank me with my underpants down. Now here you come along, shoving me in the back of the room where eyes can't even see good. Which means I'm probably not gonna graduate this summer new. Just cause you read how some white man say life be like a bowl full of chairs, I got to come up with some thick hits saying, Well, fine, I just break down how happy I'm gonna be to get 20 more dollars on my birthday. Never mind, you got planned for me this year. And I'm right, how maybe the new man my mama said might stop drinking and treat me nice. And maybe he gon' die and take us off the welfare. And at the end, I'm gonna be sure put like show is a bowl full of cherries. But to tell you the truth, Miss Trap, I think you and that book and this whole class be a bowl full of shit. <laughs> Go to the principal's office. <laughs> now, Damn what she said. Excuse me. She told you the best truth she knows. And you don't got no right to put her out and call her a liar, neither. My mama says folks that treat people bad only do it because they're ignorant. So I'm gonna help you. She's gonna sit up front where she can see from now on. And she ain't gonna go by color girl no more, neither. You're gonna learn her name. I don't know about you, but all my friends have names. And this just so happens to be my best friend. Her name is Elvidane. 